GE's CEO is coming to Boston on Thursday to speak to fellow business executives. In addition to addressing why he decided to move GE's headquarters to eastern Massachusetts, Jeffrey Immelt should explain why he's been unable to strike a deal to clean up the Housatonic River in western Mass, the waterway GE polluted for half a century. From the 1930s through the 70s, GE's plant in Pittsfield dumped PCBs, likely carcinogenic, into the river. The company's in a dispute with the Environmental Protection Agency over hundreds of millions of dollars and millions of cubic yards of sludge. The EPA wants a certain level of removal of toxic chemicals. Local activists want even more. GE wants to remove less. The EPA wants GE to comply with state law, which requires the sludge be taken out of Massachusetts. GE thinks it should be exempt from state hazardous waste regulations. The EPA says GE opposes the plan for one reason, quote, to reduce its costs in cleaning up the PCBs. GE admits, among other criteria, it wants a cost-effective plan. Shortly after the original GE announcement, I asked one of the two major brokers of the deal, the mayor and, in this case, Governor Baker, if the cleanup had been part of negotiations to bring the company here. This is what the governor said. The larger question associated with uh, their dispute and their engagement with the EPA around the cleanup at the Housatonic is a separate issue and should be dealt with separately. I'm hoping Charlie Baker believes the time for dealing with it separately is now. Baker and Boston's Mayor Walsh trumpeted how good GE's coming to our city is for Massachusetts. Now it's time to ensure that Immelt's firm's arrival is good for all of Massachusetts. What do you think? Email us, tweet us. Please share your thoughts.